Brandon Ryan Truex, much like Harrison Burton, said in his post-race interview, he does not know what his plans are going to be in 2025. When you look at what he's done with the limited opportunities that he's had in the Xfinity Series with Joe Gibbs Racing here this season, do you think he's earned a full-time ride somewhere in 2025, whether or not that's with Joe Gibbs in the Xfinity car or elsewhere in the top three series? Yeah, I don't know, and I don't think he knows yet, but I hope someone makes that decision for him here real soon because uh, he said it himself uh, that he thinks the the only other driver that's part time to win as many races as he has or, or come or getting close to it is Ty Gibbs it would be the last one to to do that, and here he is in the Gibbs car in, in the Cup Series. So, yeah, I, absolutely, and we we said this for his last win when he uh, doubled down with Dover two years in a row. Um, we said this is this is deserving of not not just passing by like that this this could potentially lead to a a 2025 full time Xfinity Xfinity ride going for the championship, and I think he would be a good contender as well. So yeah, this is uh, exactly what Ryan Truex needed uh, to advance his career and not to to stay on a part time basis. And, and you know he's wanting to get back to the to the full time stuff, and this is uh, the right move towards that. Yeah, you know, at, th- at this point in his career, I don't know that uh, a Cup Series opportunity is going to open up, at least not with the top team. I know he uh, did almost a full season with uh, a full regular season, I guess, with uh, BK Racing in 2014, uh, which, again, you know, certainly not comparable to uh, what his brother Martin Truex Jr. is driving uh, with Gibbs Cup equipment. But, um, you know, at this point for, for Ryan Truex, I, I'm sure he would be more than happy to go chase an Xfinity championship or a truck championship again and, you know, had some strong runs uh, with Hattori back in the day as well. Uh, nice Motorsports uh, a little bit more recently than that. So, um, you know, regardless of whether or not he could win a championship or, uh, you know, prove that he uh, belongs in Cup Series conversations at this point in career or, you know, all that aside, I think at the very least, you know, winning, what is this now? Uh, I think only his eighth start uh, of the season and uh, he's got two wins to show for it. He's got a 25% win rate right now. I mean, that that is... That ha- that says to me that he should be knocking on the door of any full time opportunities that are opening up uh, in this series. And again, we'll see what happens with uh, with Gibbs in twenty twenty five. We know they're they're going through a shakeup on the Cup side of things, of course, with uh, Martin Truex Jr. Uh, stepping away from full time racing. I don't know what their Xfinity program is going to look like necessarily next year, but I think if they have an opening for a full time seat here, and if there are some sponsors on board looking for somebody that can get them to victory lane. I think Ryan Truex is your guy for sure. Yeah, it'd be good to see and and some some sponsors uh, to go along with him too. He's he's basically the you know Toyota kind of sponsored car when he does do the part time. So maybe he can get some uh, some different accounts uh, on the bill too. <laughs> 